Okay, AI technology seems to be all the rage right now. So let's talk about the new text to image feature in Canva. Okay, so first of all, how do we find it? Okay, so if you've used it before, you may see it over in the left menu, but if you don't see it, you can come in here under the apps menu. So just click on the apps menu and then you can search up here for text for image or you can scroll down and eventually you're gonna find this text to image here. So you can click on that. And when you do that, it's gonna get added here to your left menu. So here it is here, but if it ever gets texted out, again, you're just gonna come in under the apps and then you're gonna search for it in here and you can find it. And when you click on it, it's gonna bring it over into this left menu. Okay, now this is what it looks like once you actually launch it. Okay, so you're gonna come in here. This is a previous search I did. So let me just clear out of this. But what you're gonna do is let's just click start over. Okay, when you first open text to image from wherever you click on it, so if you click on it here, you're going to open it up and you're going to see something like this. Okay, so this is artificial intelligence technology where you type in some sort of prompt using words and based on those words, it's going to bring back some imagery to you and then you can choose between different styles. You can choose between aspect ratios. So you have ways that you can come in here and customize your results. So if I come up here and type, type something like dragon wearing tennis shoes and then I go ahead and hit enter it's going to tell me you have reached your image quota for the day now I did this intentionally just so I want to show you there is a daily limit to how much you can use this basically what it comes down to is you can create 100 images a day so I think that's more than enough for most people but if you really really get into AI art you can look into other things like Midjourney. so Midjourney is another type of uh, AI art generator so you can look into other platforms as well if you want to supplement what you can do in here in Canva but for text to image image in here in Canva you have a hundred uh, images you can create a day using this text to image tool but so let me just jump over here under a different account and again if I come under uh, not under brand assets but if I come under apps here and I come under apps and again once again you search for text to image but right now since it's featured it is up top here and so again I'm gonna go ahead and click use and use this and so you can use this if it's a free or a pro account because I am under a free account now so even under here I can use this tool so again I'll try this again I'll type in dragon wearing tennis shoes again just to show you you really can type in any sort of ridiculous prompt you want so i'll go ahead and do dragon versus wearing tennis shoes and then once you do that you can choose between your sort of your aspect ratio so since i have a uh sort of landscape uh, orientation here i'll do landscape and then you can see all the different styles in here so i'll click see all and we'll come in under here you can see there are different photography styles you can choose from different digital art styles different fine art styles so for example let's just start with uh dreamlike and so I'll go ahead and click that and then I'll go ahead and click create your image and when you do that once you've chosen your your word prompt and you've chosen your style you've chosen your orientation it's going to go ahead and it's going to use your terms and it's going to generate four different results uh, and so if we look at this right now you can see that this is pretty interesting so you can get some pretty interesting results and of course they're not always going to match exactly what you want so for example this guy doesn't have tennis shoes so it doesn't get it exactly right every time uh, but you do get interesting results and again this is four images here so if i were to do this 25 times then essentially that would be my 100 image limit so keep that in mind but you can come in here and you can continue to get it to create again or you can start over with a different word prompt or you can come in here and you can adjust the style so if i go back to the style and i say okay instead of that let's do something like uh anime so i could do something like this and i could do create again so i'm using the same word prompt because i didn't click start again i did create again so it's using the same word prompt but this time i'm asking it to generate uh, the art in a different style and again you can see depending on the word prompt you use sometimes it's really going to miss the mark for example uh, these are just like tennis shoes these are just uh, this is just a uh, dragon by itself I don't know what that is exactly so just keep in mind uh, based on your word prompt and then based on the style you choose you're going to get mixed results with this tool this is very much something to just get creative with uh, and play around with but there may be practical instances when you could use this as well so let me just go ahead and delete what I have on screen here I'm just going to come back under my design menu and let's just imagine that maybe we were creating a flyer for a music concert so I'm going to type in music concert see what kind of style templates we have here so I'm just going to scroll down and find one of these that looks interesting so let me just look at a few more of these 
and then I'll pick something here. So I'll just pick this. Sure, I'll pick this. But so let's say I was creating this flyer for a music concert, but you might come in here and you might say, okay, I, I want sort of a colorful background that's sort of music themed, but I don't like what I have currently in my design here. This is also a pro element, so if you were a free user, you wouldn't be able to use this pro element. So I could come in here, I could delete that background, and I could come in here and I could say, hey, I'm gonna try that text to image. And so I'm gonna do text to image, and we're gonna go in here again, we're going to do something like uh, musical notes. Let's try saxophone player silhouette. So again, uh, the more specific uh, prompts you give it, the more specific results you're likely going to get. But just know it's not always going to get it right every time. And then something like colorful. And for now, style, I'm going to choose none. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create again. Or actually, yeah, create again because we have a new word prompt in there. And so musical notes, saxophone, player, silhouettes, uh, colorful. Those are our prompts this time. And you can see that, okay, it came back with some pretty cool results. And you might say, hey, I kind of like this. And so you're going to grab one of these and you're going to bring it over here. You could try that. And then suddenly you're on a way to a new design. Uh, and again, you could come here, you could get rid of this all together. And so, again, you get the idea that you're just playing around here. But a lot of times, if you can't find the elements you're looking for in sort of the Canva library, they have lots and lots of elements. But if it's something very specific, sometimes you can get in here and try this text to image and get a better result. OK, so it's just one more tool for your creativity. It's one more tool within the Canva sort of uh, work suite that's there for you to try as a potential way, you know, to get, you know, what you're looking for to create a good design for whatever it is, whatever sort of project you're working on. Okay, so this is the Canva text to image feature now that uses artificial technology to sort of create whatever you can dream up. Okay, so again, just as a reminder, you come in here, you type your word prompt, then you can choose between these different styles, you can choose between the different, uh, orientations and then you can go ahead and, and create your results you can run it again as many times as you want up to that hundred image limit that you have each day okay but that still gives you plenty of time to play around so make sure you check out this text to image in Can canva and see what kind of results you can come up with hey this is greg thanks so much for checking out this video you can give it a like below if you found it helpful and make sure you subscribe to this channel and set up notifications if you want to stay up on all the latest information all about canva Thanks again and have an awesome day.